skinny lucky charms are the subject of today's food for thought my name is jody bunting this is our daily live health tip to help you lose weight now as you know i'm a big fan of skinny bars now yesterday they launched something new and that was skinny cereals now not only just one skinny cereal but four different varieties of skinny cereals they are exclusively new at b&m bargains uh, not available anywhere else at the moment guys so that's the only place you can get them and the great news is two quid this box of cereal this large box of cereal is two quid from b&m i got this one from the one in burton as I said, there's four different varieties. Uh, I found two in the one in Burton. Uh, and today we are going to taste this one because uh, a lot of my slimmers out there, especially one of them, is addicted to Lucky Charms. Now, if you don't know what Lucky Charms is, it's a breakfast cereal with basically bits of dried marshmallow, which is like really sugary and really beautiful. Hi, Donna. Hi, Tina. Hi, Aaron. Um, and it's very popular and it's really expensive. So a box of uh, Lucky Charms is four quid. This bad boy is two quid. Now it is the chocolate variety. Um, so again, it is a slight variation on Lucky Charms. However, I'm hoping it will be delicious. Calorie wise, there's 96 calories per 25 grams. Now I've just been reading up on the Lucky Charm website and it does say 140 calories per portion however uh, in a lucky charms portion they classed it class it as 36 grams and this is uh 96 grams per 25 grams uh so this is why there is slightly different so actually it's about the same uh, but as you know uh we do love to look at the ingredients uh, and for the reason uh that uh, some people will know this but lucky charms were banned at some point in the UK because some of the E numbers they used are not allowed in this country. So this is something <laughs> that the skinny crunch bar hopefully will have in. So before we taste test them guys, let's have a look. Um, oh yeah, you can definitely have them with milk, Aaron. Let's have a look at the ingredients. So this is the official description. So choco hoops and marshmallows, chocolatey flavoured cereal hoops, fortified with vitamins, calcium, uh, minerals and marshmallow pieces. I'm just going to do it like that so you can actually look at the product while I'm reading it out. Uh, no, not red milk. We want a bit of uh, blue milk, Aaron, to get the good fats in. So these are the ingredients. 55% flour, which is whole grain wheat, maize and rice, which obviously is never a good ingredient. Um, sugar is the next one. Uh, marshmallows, which is 10%. Uh, in there is obviously loads of sugar, basically. Um, some glucose syrup, just to add to the sugar factor. Fat reduced cocoa powder, 3%. Glucose syrup, cocoa powder, 2.5%. Rapeseed oil. Um, dextrose, which is another name for sugar. Uh, it's also got salt in here. Uh, flavorings, vitamin mix, and that's it. So there's two good things that isn't aren't in here, guys. Uh, and that is uh, palm oil, no palm oil, and also no E numbers as well. That's really important, guys. So if you've got kids that have got ADHD who generally climb the walls for no apparent reason, it's really important to to make sure your kids aren't eating E numbers, guys. So a product, especially by Skinny, uh, is gonna do that. And you'll also know by me uh, reading out the ingredients there, there's definitely no artificial sweeteners as well, which I'm really pleased about. So the good news is, although there isn't anything maybe good nutritionally in here. Uh, there isn't anything bad as well, especially when it comes to artificial sweeteners and E numbers. So let's get to it, shall we? There's also a strange recipe on the back where you pick out the marshmallows. So you pick out those little marshmallows bits um, and blend, <laughs> blend up the uh, choco cereals and make some sort of hot chocolate and put the top bits on the top. It would be quite nice, but it seems like a quite of a messy affair. Uh, and obviously they've recommended that because they then recommend you to have a skinny bar with it. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. High in fibre is the other nutritional information. 
at 375 grams. Uh, I can see Pam is watching. So if Pam would like to tell me how many grams are in a normal box of uh, Lucky Charms, uh, I'm just looking on the Lucky Charms website and can see there is 297 grams in a normal box. So it's a bigger box and it's half the price, guys. So what is the not to love about Skinny Crunch? So 96 calories worth, what does it look like? It looks like this. So my bowl is, I would say, is a medium sized bowl. So that is 20 five grams so it's not like loads but also it's not like nothing you know when sometimes you pour out 25 grams of cornflakes it you like it's like nothing isn't it so what i'm going to do is add some milk in there i've got semi skimmed also known as green top and we are going to mix this up if you never had lucky charms it's basically, my mum had never had Lucky Charms. She was like, oh, it's hard. Uh, it's a hard marshmallow. Uh, so it's basically, get that close up. It's chocolate hoops with a little bit of sugary marshmallow. Really crunchy. We have a second opinion. So Pam is confirming it was 422 grams in a Lucky Charms box. 375 in here. So you get more for half price. These are absolutely delicious. Obviously, you have to be careful not to eat the whole box because 375 times 96 is a lot of calories, guys. You don't want to be eating that in a whole day. However, if you want to have these as a treat, you are calorie counting and you can stick to 25 grams. This may be something you want as part of your 80-20 split. This does come under your 20%, however because there's nothing real full of nutrients in there. But it's a great low calorie treat. And as I said, good value for money as well. Uh, I am gonna be testing all the whole range, guys. So we've got three more lots of spec for cereals. Uh, and do remember, uh, it should be part of a healthy balanced diet and you shouldn't be eating this every day. Right, that's it for me for now. I'm off to finish my marshmallows. <laughs>